Hello everyone, today is Thursday, May 16th. It's 3.38 p.m. It's about 20 minutes before the regular session close. And I have another update from my client who's trading the live combine. On my right is my computer clock, and you can see the, the time, and on my left, the time in sales, the E-mini S&P currently trading at 2877.50. Okay, so I'm going to bring over the uh, video my client sent me today. All right, I'm going to try and catch a few more trades for the combine. I met my weekly goal for my live account and my funded account, so I'm not trading them today, at least not uh, futures contracts. I did buy some call options on the S&P because I think we're going a heck of a lot higher. For the combine, all I'm doing is just between 100 and 150 a day because I, I am way ahead of the game. They want me to trade for two months for the $2,500. And I think I have something like 22 or 2300 already. So I am way ahead of the game. So just real quick trades. Gonna go long only. Again, I think, I think we're going a lot higher. I think as long as the NASDAQ stays above 7480, we have a chance at 7580 and possibly over 7600. Uh, definitely the S&P, as long as it stays above 56, yeah. As long as the S&P is above 56, we, we might see the highs from a few days ago of um, 28.87. So we'll see how it's going to work. Market is about to open. I am long only. The shorts are disabled. And I think it's going to be quick today. There's the first long. Of course, took a loss on that first long. <laughs> Again, the other trader just took me out. It takes all the emotion out of the game, you know. Without the other trader, I would probably try and hold on to the position. I mean, I do think it will turn around, but uh, you, you never know what they're going to do. You never know how long it's going to go. So the other trader just makes it simple. You put your rules in. You have your criteria, you know what you're looking for, and then just you let it go. Not long. Well, you see, when it when it took that long, I mean, it happened so fast. Again, on my own, I, I don't know if I'd be able to grab it like that. So it just takes all the emotion out of the picture. Might need to uh, put it on pause or something. I don't know. I don't want to take too much time here. Uh, maybe it will just keep going. All right. So up 140, two trades done. Um, that's it. I, I do think we're going higher, but for the purpose of the combine, that's that's really all I need. Okay, well, there you have it on uh, watching the auto trader trade live. This is real money in a real account. Uh, it's a funded account. The client is trying to qualify for a combine, and he's about 85% of the way through and way ahead of schedule. He has 60 days to qualify, and he's only less than three weeks into it. So he's just a few dollars away from qualifying. So today you, you saw the auto trader. Uh, enter on a limit order at the close of the bar, 
there was uh, a loser and a winner, and the second winner uh, noticed that it got out at the top tick here uh, on this move. And uh, he's using the uh, moving average filter here uh, to filter trades as well as only going long. The filter is basically stating you can't go long unless the uh, moving average is greater than it was one bar ago. This setup right here in our indicator package uh, in the manual that we have, this is called the universal trade setup, uh, the BWT universal trade setup is basically uh, very simple. Uh, notice how clean the chart is. You need not much else on your chart except a couple of our indicators. We don't get into a lot of indicators on our charts. We like to keep things uh, clean. We've, we've been uh, doing that for 15 years. When I first started Blue Wave Trading, uh, one of our slogans was one chart, one time frame, you know, two indicators. And but anyway, uh, this a pretty strong testimonial to what is possible with the auto trader. Uh, and notice that uh, he started trading at the open, and trading was over within a couple of minutes. So the action here pretty much speaks for itself. If anyone has any questions about this, feel free to email me at systems at and I'm happy to discuss it with you. Okay, back to auto trader performance today. First up is the NASDAQ on our Super Echo 8 tick. This is relatively new, but it's been super consistent since I've been showing it. This is using our opening range filter. It started off with a loser, a false start here, got stopped out, and then it came back with this fantastic winner here. This was good for 12.20 for the day. Our goal on this is 12.50. So when we hit our daily goal, we enter a market order, and it's about 50-50 with positive or negative slippage. So this had a couple of ticks of slippage, and we ended up at 12.20. Okay, the DAX on a Superenco 6 tick with our Step MA filter uh, did 14.50 today on two trades. There were two winners here and here. And our goal on this is... 1500 so we had a couple of ticks of slippage but very nicely done okay let's not forget line break charts an absolutely beautiful trade on this line break chart limit order at the close of the bar minus a tick or two it looks like minus three ticks you can see it just below the close of the bar here our fill first prior profit target is 70 ticks and that was hit here and then the second move Looks like it went for over 80 ticks on this uh, second contract, but it was stopped out because we hit our goal. Our goal is 1250, and so we hit our goal and had a tick or two of slippage. But really, this is about as good as it gets, and once again, notice the trade uh, went off just a few minutes after the open and was closed by uh, 10 minutes to 10, so in about 20 minutes, up 1235. Okay, next is the NASDAQ on a 1597 Heiken Ashi chart. This trade was uh, open, in open position while I was speaking, and it just closed its position right here. You can see just a bar or two ago. And uh, this went sideways for a good while. There was a losing trade here, and then the second trade was pretty much break even, maybe a tick. And then there was a winner, a loser, and a winner here. But these two winners were enough to bring it up to 1290 for the session. And the goal on this is 1250. So we had a couple of ticks of positive slippage on this chart. Very nicely done. I mentioned in a couple of videos ago that the NASDAQ is emerging as one of our most reliable markets to trade. The NASDAQ on a 987 Heike and Ashy tick chart, a single trade hitting its first target here and then uh, probably hitting its goal there. Our goal on this is 12.50, so indeed uh, hitting its goal. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Super Inco 4 tick, and I can tell by the look of this, this is the 60-minute higher time frame. So there was a small loser right here. And 
Then there was uh, a winner here, very prematurely stopped out, really big run here, a break even, and then a winner here. And that brought us up to our goal of 750, I believe. The limit order was one tick uh, pullback, signals on the indicators. It's the 60 minute higher time frame. Okay, the E mini S&P on a 1597 Heiken Ashi chart had a single trade and did $1,000. I actually reduced the, uh, the daily goal on this chart, and I did because it often makes an equity high of about this much uh, on its first trade or two. And anyway, this worked out really well. This was what I was trying to achieve was hitting our goal in one or two trades, and it did exactly that. Really beautiful uh, signal on the indicators here. You can see this uh, big long move here, and it just took a portion of it and did a thousand on two contracts. It's a limit order with a three tick pullback. Okay, it's now just a few minutes before the close, and we have an open position on the Superenco six tick uh, E mini S and P. We have a closed PL of three twelve fifty and currently long two with an open PL of about 200. So if there is some short covering here, we may uh, come up, and I don't think we'll hit our goal. I think the goal on this is 1,000. I'm not sure. No, it's only 750. So if we have some short covering, uh, we may come up here and hit our goal. Uh, I'll come back to this chart and see what happens. In the meantime, I'm going to move the stop a little bit closer. Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco 6 tick limit order with a 2 tick pullback has a goal of 1,000. This did uh, 770 for the day. And the initial drawdown was about maybe $300, and it struggled early on but then came back beginning around the 11 o'clock hour and finished at 770 for the day. Okay, so it's now uh, the close of the session, and this uh, Superenco 6 that was long just closed its position. You just saw it. Looks we, we did pretty good. We got a pretty good fill and came close to our goal, closed out at 637.50. Very nice. But back to the previous chart I was talking about, uh, this Superenco 6 tick uh, has a goal of 750 and did uh, 725 on a single trade here. This is using our line break logic. You can see the line break signal here. Okay, the super reliable E mini S&P regular 5 Renko chart had three trades, two winners and one loser, and finished at 425 for the day. Another E mini S and P Superenco six tick chart with a higher time frame of Superenco six, two different sensitivities. This has a goal of eight twenty five and finished at four fifty for the day. The drawdown was three hundred dollars or one hundred fifty per contract. E mini S and P on a regular six Renko chart drew down about six hundred dollars or three hundred per contract on two losers to start, but then recovered and finished at almost $500 on these two trades. This has a higher time frame filter of Superenco 6. Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco 4 tick with a Superenco 4 tick, 6 tick, higher time frame, has a goal of 1200 and this did 310 for the day. There was a minor drawdown it made an equity high of 700 but then settled in at 310. The bonds on 150 tick line break chart with our open range filter had two winning trades and did 31250 for the day. The third trade was break even. The bonds on a 34 tick line break still showed positive today with a modest gain of a couple of ticks. And finally, the crude oil on a Superenco 7 tick. It's been a pretty consistent chart. This drew down about 300 or 150 per contract. Had an equity high of 500 and finished at 220. That's all for today's video.